Hey friends, I'm ready. It's time to wrap things up for the technical analysis of the Pear Ultra Line. My name is Mr. Colorful and welcome to Mr. Colorful TV. Hey, welcome back! Hope that you're doing fantastically well because today is the part where I'm gonna give you my thoughts and the final review on all the tests that I did before. If you didn't saw them, there's a link right over there. So first, I would say that I really did enjoy that product overall. I can now understand why this product is so popular. Even though I've tested the eggshell finish only, that gave me a good understanding of the most important aspect of the entire line. If you would have any specific aspect that you would like me to test, let me know in the comments. It might be for a future episode. So let's talk about the pros. First, the product has a great hiding power. When I get that kind of hiding power on a Chevron chart, especially with a white base, I know that the product is a premium product. There is a very interesting fact that I found when I was doing research on the product. I found that the maximum tint load is 2 ounces, which is very low compared to other products on the market. Why it matters? Because it pretty much means that the base has more titanium dioxide, which is represented by the following acronym. The TiO2 is the white pigment that the manufacturer used in the base formula. Basically, the lower the maximum tint load is, the more TiO2 have in the gallon and the more the white base will hide. I've seen up to 5 ounces for the max tint load in some other products. So the higher the max tint load, the lower the TiO2, the lesser hiding power for the base white. I'll do a dedicated video about that to go in more detail. Secondly. The product is easy to apply. As I've mentioned in part 2, the product has a nice thick feel to it, but it doesn't feel sticky. It feels very fluid and easy to apply. Thirdly, easy to clean. Well, if you want something which is scrubber resistant, there you have it. I've been impressed by how the ketchup and the soy sauce didn't mark the paint film. Another major pro is the adherence of the product. The product has stuck very hard over the eye gloss alkyd surface. Lastly, the product is low odor. So before going to the cons, I'm pausing this real quick to inform you that you can visit MrColorfulArchives.com to meet my virtual paint advisor. Whether you're looking for information to paint or repaint your bathroom, to stain your deck, or simply select the best sheen and finish that would fit your project, my dear friend will be there to help you. It's completely free and the link is down in the description below. All right, I would like to talk about some neutrals. In other terms, things that I have concerns about. Since the product has a pretty high sheen for an eggshell finish and that it dries pretty fast, the chances of getting roller marks on your walls are somewhere higher. Make sure to stop the baseboards or any eating in the room when you are painting with this product. Your goal is to try to prolong the drying time as much as possible. That will help to get a smoother finish free from roller marks. Next, even though I've not tested it personally, the 100% acrylic flat for ceilings puzzles me. If you've ever tried it, I want to get your thoughts about it. So let's go to the con. There is really not a lot, honestly. But first, let's talk about the sheen. This Excel finish has too much gloss for my taste. It is not a problem in itself, it's more a personal preference. It's probably even glossier with a darker color. I will test that out soon. So make sure to subscribe and push that bell notification if you don't want to miss it. Second, the leveling capabilities. Although it's not bad at all, to be frank, it doesn't level out perfectly with a brush and the orange peel is kinda high. But you know, a different roller could do better and so applying a thinner coat. I wouldn't recommend it for Doran trims too. Maybe the satin or semi gloss finish is better for that as they are more suitable for this kind of work. That said, 
for your cuts and with a proper technique and a premium brush you shouldn't get any brush marks when cutting your edges it will be a topic for a future video there you have it my future best friends I had a tremendous amount of fun reviewing this product for you and I hope you did as well let me know in the comments what you would like to see next also share the series with someone if you've enjoyed it yourself it might help them from Mr. Colorful to you thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video peace